YouTube. What's going on with this man's head? Yo, so I go in with my number two guard and I'm just going up and down, basically clearing this panel using the hilt of my blade so I don't dig into the Parado Ridge area, keeping the mohawk in the shape of his head, prepping it to go in so I can start bursting the sides out for the burst fade. Next, I go in with my Babeless FX trimmers and I start at the bottom of my sideburns and I'm basically going to create a circular motion from behind the ear and I'll connect that to the front part of where I put my first indentation of my ball line and then I'm going to clear this panel as well and once I clear this panel, we're going to jump right into the fade. Then I go in completely open with my Andis Masters and I'm giving myself about a half of an inch because I don't got that much work room to really work with in terms of a fade. We don't want to go bald super high. We still want to keep some darkness or whatever to it, but we just want to have a nice burst fade effect. Then I go in and I start to fade in between that, which would be me dropping my clippers halfway and then dropping them closed. Just staying in a small realm, brushing one and fade one and keeping everything consistent so I could get this hair to blend and create a nice transition for the bursted area. Next, I'm going in with my 116th guard and it's completely closed and I'm just basically using the hilt of my blade and I'm starting to flick at this line because I'm starting to get most of my transition already and I want to preserve a lot of the dark hairs because I will be doing a nice design part on this side of the head and the lower the hair is, the harder it is to see the design so you don't ever want to just make it too, too low which is why I'm trying to preserve a decent amount of hair to keep a nice gradiency for me to be able to put a nice design part into the side. Then I go in with my pick and I just basically bring most of this hair towards me because this is like a mistake that I feel like a lot of people don't do right here. When you're doing a burst fade, you want to pull a lot of that hair out to you, especially if, you know, it's a lot of hair. And this client had a lot of hair. I think he went like three and a half, four months without a haircut. This was one of them Corona haircuts as well. So as you guys can see, man, you got to take your time with everything. And I'm basically shaping the sides of the mohawk and then I go back and forth between that and blending because the longer you take your eyes off or the more you take your eyes off of something you could kind of come back and see most of your mistakes that you made just in terms of blending or just in terms of shaping or lining or whatever you need to distract your eyes at times and then come back to things and that's just how it is in the barber game that's the barber's eye right there for you that you could be able to lock in and out and then re-engage and disengage in different positions throughout the haircut so i go in with a one and a half guard right here just flicking out some of this back area to clear some of this as well and this side is pretty much done, ready for a design. It don't have to be a flawless side really like that when you're doing a design part. And I'm going to go on this side and I'm going to repeat the same steps. I'm going with that number two guard using the hilt of my blade, just lifting majority of this hair so I can open up this area, prepping it for that burst fade as well. Then I go in with my Babeless FX's and I'm basically doing that same ball line, connecting it to the bottom of the sideburns but to the back of the ear as well in a circular motion, keeping everything consistent, trying to match what I did to one side to the next side just so I can stay in a very symmetrical realm. This one of my homies right here, my best friend Scoob, so he worked like a, at a construction place. He do a lot of construction work or whatever in a real life field, so he don't get a chance to come out here. I think he lived like two and a half, three hours away now, so he don't really get a chance to come out and when he do you know he got to get a haircut from me he don't get his haircut by nobody else and that's loyalty right there the fact that you will walk around or whatever with your hair messed up because you know a mohawk after a month or two almost start to look like a helmet if you don't you know maintain it but that's loyalty right there when my clients don't want to go to nobody but me so shout out to my dog then I go in and I just pick the hair, trying to do the same thing that I did to the other side. As you can see, a lot of this hair starting to hang over that parietal ridge, 
Once I pick majority of this hair out, I'm gonna go in with my clippers completely closed and then it's gonna push all of this hair completely out the way. This is a shaper technique, it's called free forming and just basically getting everything together, keeping everything consistent just so my mohawk can be flush. And I go in with a one and a half guard in the front just so I can lower this area in the front because he won't be lining up most of that thick hair or whatever. He just gonna be lining up, you know, the hair once I trim it down and that's just how it has to be. And I just go up and do a little bit of cleanup work because this mohawk won't be one of the mohawks to be picked out. He likes to wear his hair super coily and coily and all type of things like that. So with that being said, you just got to keep everything consistent. We're not really going to be, you know, picking the whole mohawk out just to reshape it. That's not how we do it out here. A lot of people in Chicago don't like pick their hair don't care about their hair length they like to wear like naturally curly or curly and things like that and that's exactly how they do it out here like they don't care for picking out a mohawk and then getting everything down to that one desired length a shaped in mohawk to us is so out of style like people stop doing that when party like a rock star was a song like Chicago just moved different I'm not saying my city better than anybody but a lot of people in the city just don't move the same like I get a lot of people in my comment section who ask for more haircuts and like it ain't nobody fault but my fault in terms of the waving thing. I hopped in that waving game and broke their charts. So like that's exactly what comes to me because people expect or people see that that's what I do very well. So I'm definitely trying to get more people on the channel but until then y'all gonna get everything in that book on here and it's just go to prove that nobody don't pick and choose their haircut. It's just the demographic that come to me. I cater to African American crowd. And there's nothing wrong with that Especially with the BLM movement and things like that going on right now I'm going to show some of the greatest African American haircuts No matter what nobody say So if you're in that comment section and you mad that you're not getting more haircuts Bro, please go watch somebody else I can't go back and forth with y'all G I can't That's not what I do This my crowd, this the crowd that booked me And y'all ain't going to get nothing but gas in this crowd I'm going to cater to my people So I'm in this with this lineup I'm keeping everything consistent, clearing the face. I broke it to my mid. I did the backs. I'm doing my curves. Haircuts like this is really much more simple because this guy doesn't like really want like a kid mohawk. A kid mohawk to me, I feel like takes more time because you got to be way more gradient and be way more consistent. But mohawks like this is like easy. I bang this one out in I believe like 30 minutes. So this wasn't hard at all. Mohawks like this is super easy. Then I go in with fibers just so I could kind of darken up around the design. This is just a nice technique for anybody out there that's doing designs. Like all color is good for you, but fibers is just the easiest color to move, especially when you're doing designs. And then you guys gonna see me go back into this design later on. And I'm gonna stretch all my lines out and it's gonna look super, super, super crazy. So I go in with my boy Sean Cuts Hair Color Enhancement Car, which is the greatest color enhancement car on the market. Hey, if you want a color enhancement car, my boy is giving these cards away 20% off. Use the code right here at the bottom of the screen. Beam Team 24 in all capital letters. We put 24 because not only is it my favorite number, but this was that Kobe year as well. Just giving respect back to that legend, rocking that 2 4 super hard. So please, if you want that color enhancement card, you can get 20% off by taking typing in all capital letters beam team 24 and please go get your color enhancement cards man this is the greatest thing ever if you're using color out there you want to start trying to use color get this enhancement card and it's gonna make your job 10 times easier but as you guys can see i went back in with my babeless fx's and i'm just stretching most of my lines out giving my design some more of an ergonomical to almost like three-dimensional shape i'm not doing no three-dimensional things to it but when you stretch the design out in certain areas it kind of give it more of like a three-dimensional look it looked way more cleaner and you guys are starting to see like the work of what the fibers did when it darkened up that area and things like that you'll be able to go back in retap it and move a lot of that stuff around and get that real drastic nice like tribal or graffiti look keeping everything consistent designs come off the top of my head it's not even something that like 
he came to me with I just did it like this is something that I do and I'm not like the best at designs I want to get better at them I want more of them but you know until then it's like literally one of my only clients that even get designs and as you guys can see that's that's pretty much clean right there that's ready and I go in with my Barber Magic Pencil, and I'm basically skimming. I'm concealing my lineup, treating it the same way women that treat their eyebrows, lining up their eyebrows first, putting color in it, and then they go behind it and conceal it and blend that concealer line out with a blending brush. And I'm doing the blending with my clippers. I just need to get everything consistent, get everything in order, and keep everything up to par just so I could keep the mohawk real, real, real precise. And as you guys can see, this thing coming together super well. Then I go in with my shears, and he want like at least half of the mohawk cut. And instead of me picking it out like I explained earlier, I won't be picking this mohawk out because he wear it coily or curly. All he got to do is wash his hair or whatever, and his hair get the curling and coiling all the way up. So what we do is we just trim most of the hairs down with shears or whatever. I pull it with my hands, and he trim it down with the shears, and then he just let it go. He don't pick his mohawk out at all. He don't curl, sponge it, none of that. He do the whole curly, coily thing on his own. So that's the only thing that we do. This haircut is super easy. It's super easy to get this haircut done in 30 minutes, man. I really enjoy doing this haircut and just linking up with my dog. Anytime we link up, we always wild and we always having fun. That's the whole point of barbering. You got to learn how to have fun. I'm not super serious in the shop cutting all day. I'm locked in, of course, but with my clients, it's different. I build relationships with my clients. That's what it's about, building relations and networking. You never know who in your chair. I get doctors. I get lawyers. I didn't get so many people to help me or help my family with things just off the strength of what they do people who rebuild credit all type of things like that you got to be tapped in you got to be locked in to your clients this also one of my guys right here with the sneakers man every release that come out i get any pair of jordans any pair of yeezys that i want like i don't know nobody more invested in shoes than this dude right here and we went to college together we live together so this my dog like this one of my boys so i gotta lace him we always look out for each other so when he's come and sit in my chair y'all know i gotta spaz i gotta give him the full clip that's just what beam do i'm different i'm cut different and it's gonna be like that for forever so in the imperfect world unfortunately we do get these clients that come in here after three and a half months looking wow by the head but it's barbers y'all know it's up to us to change that outcome and without further ado let's lock in Hashtag TBT in that comment section Hashtag Glacier Gang It's 2020, it's year to shapeshifters We in that duffel And until next time, and may God bless We don't have to be so dependent on plastic moving forward Third <laughs> It takes a community to come together And build something that can change if you was able to make it through this 13 minute video, please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell to get alerted every time I drop a bang. I told y'all I'm in that duffel this year. Hey, as y'all can see, that was definitely a crazy one. But I gave that one to y'all. Nice design part, nice burst phase. So everybody that's been in the comment section asking for burst phase or designs, it is now done. Until next time.